Hi, my name is Duncan Hunter and I'm going to show you in this video how to install and run the Angular CLI. So the Angular CLI allows you a very quick uh, way to scaffold out and get started using Angular 2 and the Angular CLI is only available for Angular 2. Uh, so I'm going to show you some of the things that you need to get in line and I have a list for us to walk through. So first of all you need to have git installed uh, on your machine and I'm going to show you how to check these in a second. Second of all you want to make sure that you have node version 4 or higher and that you also have npm version 3 or higher. Then we will go install the Angular CLI or update it if you already have it. And then I'm going to show you some gotchas around updating the CLI, node jip errors if you get these, if you don't, don't worry about them, and what do you do about fixing npm permissions if you get some errors there because this is one of the common errors. And then we'll show you our idea of choice for uh, getting a great experience using Angular 2 with TypeScript. So let's jump in and have a look at this list. So on the top of this list here we need to check that we have node version uh, 4 or higher and npm version 3 or higher. So we can do that by running both these commands node-v and npm-v. So I'm just going to jump over to a terminal window on my machine and I'm going to run node-v and you have to have at least version 4 or higher so I'm running version 6 here which is fine so I don't need to update it to use the Angular CLI and npm-v. So I'm running 3 or higher here so I don't need to update it but if you saw either of those versions node under 4 or npm in particular under 3 I highly recommend you uninstall them from your machine and you reinstall both those applications. Now the problem is if you uninstall npm and node from your machine you're going to remove all of your global dependencies that you've already installed. So you can reinstall them really easily but you might want to run this highlighted command on the screen if you're going to to check uh, which ones you've got. So if I run this you can see that I have a bunch already installed in my machine and I would npm install them again if I was to update my version of node which I'm not going to do in this video and you only need to update your node if it is like I said uh, going to be less than version 4 and your npm the node package manager is less than version 3. So all good on my machine but if it's not on your machine stop, uninstall those, reinstall them and reinstall your packages if you want a smooth experience with the Angular CLI. So that's the first step here. The second step here is we want to check that we have Git on our machine because the Angular CLI uh, will set you up a Git repository so I'm going to just run um, git dash dash version to check not the version but just to check that I have it on my machine so yep I have git so all is good not so fussed about which version you're running. If we come back again next thing we want to do is we want to install the Angular CLI but before you install it if you've already got it you can check if you have it by running ng-v so I'm going to copy that come back over ng-v and this will tell me that I'm running the latest version which is version 19. So I know that because if I come over to the website for the Angular CLI and I click on the GitHub here, I can come down and check what the latest version is. And you can see it's version 19 here. So this changes quite frequently at the moment so it's worth keeping up to speed. If you're running anything before version 17 I highly recommend you update uh, at the moment. So let's come back here to our list and we've checked that we have it. If we don't have it what you want to do is you want to go and get it. So the way that you would go get it is you would run, once you've installed npm you'll have it available globally, you would be able to then uh, run npm uh, install-g angular-cli uh, at latest. But if you already have it installed you want to first of all uninstall it and then clear your npm cache and then you want to install it again and you can get all of these instructions by uh, following uh, along on the Angular CLI uh, web page that I just showed you and the link is available here. So I'm not going to install it but I already have it but if I didn't have uh, I would come along to the command line and I would just run this command. Uh, that's not the one I wanted. Uh, let's just clear this out. I would copy this command here and I would come along 
and run npm install and now it's going to kick off and run here but I'm not going to fulfill that because I've already got it installed on my machine but that's how I would do it. So once I've got that set up I can keep moving along this list and there's a couple of troubleshooting points. I've watched oh, hundreds, <laughs> literally hundreds of people install the Angular CLI in the last couple of months with all the hack days and user groups and uh, teaching that we do um, and there's two really common errors. One is node jip errors if you get those, go carefully read the instructions for each operating system on this link here at the NodeJip website. And the other one is permission errors with NPM. That normally happens on a Mac more than a PC, but make sure you're running everything uh, as admin or as sudo when you're doing um, your installs if you're on a Mac. But if you're still getting errors, you can go along to the uh, NPM link here because it's always changing, but as a up-to-date instructions for getting um, fixing your permission errors on a Mac. And then the last step, um, if you don't have a great awesome IDE yet, I highly recommend uh, one that supports TypeScript really well, so WebStorm or Visual Studio Code, uh, two really great choices and you can get Visual Studio Code for free. You're actually looking at it right now. That's what I'm showing you this markdown in um, right here. So that's just a really quick video to you know, show you some tips and some pointers for how to install the Angular CLI. Uh, if you're having any troubles, get in touch. Cheers, thanks.